So you're thinking about getting a cat, and whether they are the right pet for you. I am the cat butler, and I've had my two ragdoll cats, Timo and Aria, for almost three years. So today, I will share my experiences about owning a cat, and what are the pros and cons. As a pet owner, we wish that our pets can live a long life. Cats tend to live longer than other household pets. On average, an indoor cat can live between 10 and 20 years old, with the oldest cat, Cream Puff, reaching 38 years old. On the other hand, a dog on average can live between 10 and 13 years old. This is one of the reasons why I decided to get a cat, so they can be in my life as long as possible. Cats are low maintenance compared to dogs. Having our cats use a litter box is so much easier than having to take the dog out every time they need to pee or poop. This can be beneficial for individuals who have busy schedules or live in areas where going outside frequently may not be practical or feasible. Dogs require regular outdoor bathroom breaks. Regardless of the time of day or weather conditions, on the other hand, cats can use a litter box at any time without being dependent on you. Lastly, you don't have to really train your cat to use a litter box; they usually pick it up naturally. Dogs, on the other hand, require some training and reinforcement to learn how to go to the bathroom. Cats have a reputation for being hard to train, and it's true. They are more difficult than dogs, but with patience, you can train your cat. The key is positive reinforcement. Cats learn by associating a desirable behavior with a reward. They have a good memory and remember when they get something they enjoy. What cats are not good with is physical punishment. Do not spank, hit, or kick your cat, nor raise your voice. It does nothing but teach your cat to be afraid of you, and does not stop the bad behavior. I try to raise my cats in a positive environment, so that we have a trusting and loving relationship. So, if you want to train your cat, use positive reinforcement, such as giving a treat when they do the right thing. For Timo and Aria, I have taught them to ring a bell, and learn to be okay with water by rewarding them with treats. So training your cat is definitely doable. I'll link how I trained my cats to ring a bell and be okay with water in the description below. Since ancient Egypt, cats helped humans hunt rats and mice that preyed on our crops. In return for their help, we provided food and protection. The modern cat descended from this mutual human and cat relationship. And to this day, they still hunt and deter pests in our home. For example, cats release pheromones that are terrifying to rats, and when rats sense these pheromones, they will try to avoid the area as much as possible. I saw that in action in one of my friend's New York City apartment. The apartment building was infested with rats, but because they had a cat, none of the rats. Dare to come into their apartment. In my own experience, Timo and Aria have been a great pest deterrent. I live on the ground floor, and every morning I wake up to dead insects here and there. So if you have a pest problem, a cat will be a great addition to your household. They are a natural and eco-friendly solution, without the harmful chemicals. Getting a cat. It's like having a best friend for life. If you're lonely, depressed, or sad, your cat is there for you. They provide emotional support during difficult times or challenging situations. Timo and Aria have gotten me through some bad times. When I am not having a good day, Aria will come, sit on my chest, and purr to cheer me up. This affectionate behavior. Maybe a surprise for some people, 
Cats have a stereotype of being unaffectionate. This is untrue. Cats are just different from dogs. They display their affection differently. Signs of a cat's affection include rubbing, purring, and snuggling. You also need to earn a cat's affection. It's similar to us humans meeting a stranger for the first time. They need to get to know you before developing a trusting relationship with you. So if you develop trust with your cat, you will see their affectionate side. If you enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner. So please join us. All cats shed, but the amount depends on the breed, the time of year, and whether it is a long-haired cat or a short-haired cat. It is a natural process. Cats shed and grow new fur all the time. With seasonal shedding being very common as the weather warms up or cools down. If you're looking for a cat that doesn't shed as much, you can go for a hairless cat breed like the Sphinx cat. To reduce shedding around the house, you can brush your cat's hair often or feed your cat a diet high in protein and low in carbohydrates. Cats provide endless entertainment. Their playful and curious nature often leads to amusing and enjoyable interactions. Whether it is some crazy acrobatics, silly behaviors, or music to your ears, your cat will always keep you entertained. Timo and Aria make me laugh every day. Here are some of the cute and funny things they do. Cats are quite clean. They are known for their grooming habits, spending up to 15% of their day just licking themselves. This helps them maintain clean fur, reduce parasites, and keep themselves cool. As a result, you don't have to bathe them too often. If you live in an apartment where you have a lot of close neighbors, you will never hear a noise complaint from your neighbors if you have a cat, your cat may meow from time to time, but it cannot pierce through the walls of a home like a dog's bark. So if you like a quieter home, a cat may just be for you. Some people can be allergic to cats. This is primarily due to the allergen Bell D1, which is a protein found on the skin and saliva of our cats. As a result, most allergic reactions occur when we touch or breathe in the allergen. This can result in rashes, watery eyes, or having a hard time breathing. Fortunately, there are several ways for people to overcome their allergies, such as an air purifier or allergy shots. I am actually allergic to cats, but fortunately, I was able to find a solution. If you want to learn more about how to reduce cat allergies, I'll link a video in the description below. Cats can adjust to apartment life with ease. Compared to dogs, cats can take better advantage of vertical spaces. By having a cat tree or installing walkways and bridges on your wall, your cat will have plenty of things to explore and enjoy. This mimics the trees, walls, and other structures they may encounter outside. Dogs, on the other hand, may need a bigger space to stretch their legs, and some apartment buildings restrict certain dog breeds. Another good thing about cats is they don't smell. Why is that? One of the reasons why cats don't smell is because they love grooming themselves. They are self-cleaning machines. Their tongues have tiny hooks that grab onto any dirt and remove it from their coat. The second reason why cats don't smell is because they have very mild body odors. Our body odor is primarily caused by sweat. Although sweat itself doesn't smell, 
Bacteria in the skin break down the sweat, which is what produces a nasty smell. Cats have fewer sweat glands than us and other animals, which are concentrated at their paws, alongside a few on their lips, nose, and around their anus. Basically, cats only have sweat glands on hairless areas, but none below their fur. Therefore, they perspire a lot less than other animals and have a much milder body odor because of it. Cleaning the litter box can be a cat owner's least favorite chore. Cat litter can track all over the house and you need to clean it every day because a cat likes their litter boxes clean. If you have a good cat litter or litter box, it can make cleaning and scooping the litter box much easier. Timo and Aria use a top entry litter box with a removable liner and tofu cat litter to reduce tracking, bad odor, and make cleaning easier. I'll link them in the description below. Seeing your cat scratch your furniture can be frustrating. Scratching is normal behavior for cats. It's a way to relieve stress or mark their territories. But it's possible to have your cat scratch something else. One solution is giving your cats a scratching post. You'll need several of them that are strategically placed around your home. Scratching posts give your cats the freedom to scratch without destroying your furniture. For Timo and Aria, I blanketed my home with lots of scratching posts and they have not scratched any of my furniture since. There are other solutions you can use as well to stop them from scratching your furniture. Did any of the pros or cons change your decision? Overall, owning a cat has been one of the best decisions in my life. I now have two best friends that are always there for me. I have never been happier. So consider getting a cat. Comment down below. What is your experience owning a cat?